What's the deal, Pete? Jesus Freak going in for the glory, and here we are, finally getting it started with the Sour Rankings, man. Man, been ready to get this thing started for quite a while. So here we are at episode one, and remember, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be ranking the top ten. Well, not the top ten, but the worst ten things uh, that I can think of when it comes to this game. And remember, it's gonna it's gonna act just like the Power Rankings did. It can be anything: guns, score streaks, game modes, uh, man, maps. <laughs> It could be cheesy things, things that are overpowered or whatever. Anything that uh, I conceptually deem as <laughs> as poor in this game, I'm going to go ahead and rank it uh, just for fun. <laughs> just for fun, uh, for kicks. But let's go ahead and get started. Yo, number 10 is going to go to the Perk 2 Hardwired. <laughs> so nobody uses this Perk 2. <laughs> I don't think I ever, I don't think I've ever equipped it. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if any of you guys have never equipped it either. Uh, it doesn't. It just doesn't compete, right? I mean, why would you? <laughs> those counter UAVs, they get on my nerves so bad. <laughs> that EMP, that people are constantly throwing up EMPs because that's what everyone runs as their score streak. No. <laughs> so we know nobody. You don't need to run hardwire. Um, they did buff it so that uh, you know EMP it makes you immune to EMP grenades now. But uh. Come on, I mean, it, so long as the EMP grenade doesn't make my my gun not work, I'm not really uh, worried about that. So um, this is just an underutilized perk, and it's because it's it's just not that great, and it doesn't really uh, fit the game uh, at all whatsoever. So let's move on to number nine, man. Actually, and another thing, if you wanted to make the uh, if you wanted to make hardwire better, uh, well, what if it what if it made you immune to the V set? Oh man, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I wouldn't like that. But <laughs> that would make it compete, I think, somewhat. So you don't, you don't appear on the V set when your team, when the other team gets a V set. Hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on uh, to number nine. Man, shock charges, right? So, <laughs> oh man, I'm sure you guys can relate to this. Somebody like me who runs around constantly, consistently, always trying to get in a fight, always trying to. Stay in people's faces. I, I'm constantly using dexterity and extreme conditioning and all that kind of stuff, and nothing slows me down like a nice little shock charge being placed in the hallway or something. So I can't stand those things. And uh, man, uh, goodness, as if we, as if we really needed more uh, equipment for people to use to, to camp really hard. I mean, I've already got my hands full with claymores and, and bouncing beddies, but anyway. And then let's go in. To number eight, the final little, the final little tidbit, uh, and that's gonna go to the Shycom SMG. Uh, man, so here's my logic, right? Uh, you know, in previous Call of Duties, you had three round burst weapons. You know, the ARs and Modern Warfare 2, you had the FAMAS and the M16, uh, Black Ops 1, the G11, the M16, uh, MW3, the Type 95. Um, and when you're running those weapons, you don't really want to be in people's faces. And so, to say that we need an SMG that's three-round burst, this kind of doesn't make sense to me. Uh, and so I never use it for what I rather just get my bullets off uh, consistently. Uh, I don't want to have that little time in there where I can, you know, miss a miss a burst and then get killed as a result. So I uh, definitely just want to use fully automatic. Now, you want to make it better? Go ahead and uh, you know. Go ahead and make the Shycom come with select fire uh, stock, so you don't have to use, uh, you know, a point in your class to go ahead and get select fire. Maybe it would be dope if you can just fluctuate automatically from burst to fully auto. I don't know. Would that be unbalanced? Maybe it would be. Who knows? But uh, I'm sure no. Not that many people use this gun. Not too many, not too many people like the gun. So. It is what it is, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me your feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this should be a pretty fun series to do. I had a blast just doing this first little episode. But anyway, you guys take it easy, and God bless, yo. Peace.